Halo 6 most likely is coming out this year. I would be really surprised if it got delayed till next year for some reason. And with that and the recent occurrences that have happened to the Halo franchise over the past couple of years, Microsoft and 343 Studios really have to hit this game out of the park. We, we don't we don't want another Halo 5 Guardians. Let, let, let's let's get that straight. But what does 343 Studios need to do to actually make fans care about Halo again? This is seven things Halo 6 needs to be good. Hey guys, my name's Elijah, and today on Rocket Sloth, I have the flu, but I'm still here ready to make a Halo discussion, and we're gonna be looking at the seven things, because seven is a huge thing in the Halo universe if you didn't know, but seven things we need for Halo to be good. Let's get into it. Number one, I think, I don't know if I speak for all Halo fans on this one, but I'd really like to see a revamp of the art direction in Halo, and I think this is actually something hopefully we see this time around. Maybe maybe I'm just like an older Halo fan, but I really loved the art style of Halo 2 and Halo 3, and even the anniversary edition of Halo 2 looked pretty good, not the multiplayer, but like the cutscenes. And I'd really like to see more of an art style that fits into what the older Halo fanbase might recognize. Not that I think older is better, but the fact that Halo 4 and Halo 5, it's just so shiny and, and over technical that I kind of miss the more simplistic feel that you get with Halo 1 and Halo 2. And I mean, look at the Halo 5 armor. <laughs> what, what What is that? I kind of get that in Halo Reach, they were starting to make a jump to the more modern looking grittier Halo. And it kind of worked okay in Halo Reach because at least you can see a lot of the character that was in Halo 1 being translated into a different art style. But the jump from Halo Reach to Halo 4 and Halo 5 just seems a little bit too drastic and it doesn't really look like Halo at all. I really, it really bothered me when they changed the Master Chief's appearance. It, it just doesn't look like the Chief we knew from the first trilogy. But maybe I'm nitpicking, but I'd really like to see a art direction that's a little bit more true. Maybe the brighter colors we used to have or maybe something around where Reach is at. I would be okay with Reach as a good middle art design style. But, but I'd love to go back to the Halo 3 art style. I, I'm over the Halo 4 and Halo 5. It, it's too shiny. I don't know. It's too bright. I feel like there's like bloom effects everywhere. <laughs> Number two, this one's probably more important <laughs> than art style. But they need to fix the story. Am I alone on this one? Is there anyone out there who thinks Halo 5 had the best story out of any Halo game? I can, I can see someone saying Halo 4. I actually didn't mind the Halo 4 story. I felt like it was it was tight knit. It was smaller scale than the other Halos, but it worked. Uh, Halo Five, I don't know, I don't know what that was. There was just nothing happened. Like they hyped it up with all the advertisements, and they they literally just did a bait and switch. But I feel like there was no like movement in this 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 second entry in the 343 trilogy saga, whatever they're doing. Like if you look back at Halo Two, like. There was so much going on. It built off of what happened in the first one, expanded the universe, and then led us somewhere. Where this one felt like like the events of Halo 4 happened, but then like this is kind of its own story, but we're gonna force some callbacks to Halo 4 in, and it just it was very cluttered. I don't care about Spartan Lock. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. He's not as cool as Chief. Why why don't we ever get to play as Chief? At least the Arbiter in Halo 2 had a really interesting story. So, people like the Arbiter? I don't know. Fix the story, 343! Or hire me. I'll, I'll I'll give you guys a good story. I'll, I'll come up with something. Let, let's put, let's make Cortana not so weird. I don't know. Number three, let's get with the multiplayer. Let's make it bigger and better. I don't know. I feel like with recent Halos, it's kind of been getting smaller scaled. And, and, and we'll talk about like the mechanics in a minute. But as far as like what features are in the Halo games, I felt like even at starting with Reach, and Reach still did a good job. There was a lot of variety in vehicles and weapons and stuff. But, but especially in Halo 4 and Halo 5, I feel like they're just like cutting vehicles out because there's no like use for them. But like what happened to like the Falcon and the Hornet and like the, the Brute Chopper from Halo 3? Like that stuff was awesome. Why can't we get that in at least Forge or Custom games? I'd really like to see honestly at this point 
every single weapon that's been in Halo in this new Halo game. I don't really see why they can't put it in at least Forge or Custom games. I get if they don't want them in every multiplayer map, but Halo 3 had so many weapons. It had every weapon from every game before it, I believe, and they added a bunch. And then in Halo Reach, they started cutting some of them out. But I, I, I think we need, we deserve to have every weapon from the Halo games at least accessible in the game and uh, every vehicle too. Throw us the old Spectre or the Revenant from Halo Reach. I I, I want I want those vehicles too. I want to have some racetracks and I want to try out all the vehicles. I just want a sandbox to pl to play Halo. Please and thank you. All right, this one's given because it kind of ties into multiplayer. But number four is refine the movement in Halo. I think Halo Reach nailed it. I think Halo Reach had enough movement where it felt fresh and advanced and and it gave the freedom for whatever playlist you're playing or whoever's playing making the custom games or whatever i think it was the perfect balance but i don't like how in halo 4 and halo 5 sprints built in especially halo 5 i don't know what what was going on there i i, I really wanted to like halo 5 the multiplayer at its core it's not halo it, it didn't feel like halo being able to sprint around corners aim down sights jump ground pound it was just it was a bit much, and it took away from the slower-paced tactical experience that Halo's always been. Someone left a good comment on one of our videos, I think it was like a Reach video or something, that like, a big part of the game is being able to, who, is like, who can time their shots and time their melee attacks at the right time when you're in those close quarter situations or long range, and you have to kind of account for their shields, and that's all taken away when people can just fly away and escape and stuff. So I'd really like basic movements just look at halo 3 as an example halo reach if you feel like you have to put something in you can maybe do it where it's like an ability you pick up but halo 3 or halo 2 the if they went back to the arena style that halo 2 and halo 3 had i think a lot of players would come back to halo number five we need to bring back couch co-op and i don't just mean split screen even though it was ridiculous that halo 5 did not have split screen like that's the dumbest thing i'm still still salty about that but they need to bring back couch co-op and couch co-op as an experience too that's in halo's roots and, and this almost can tie into the campaign too they need to make a cooperative experience that wows the player too to the point where that second player might want to get their own xbox and their own halo because that's what makes halo work i want over the top amazing cutscenes. My girlfriend and I are currently playing through Halo 2 Anniversary and the cutscenes are bringing someone who doesn't know anything about Halo to maybe care about Halo. And I want to see the level of cutscenes that we had in Halo 2 Anniversary. Um, they're, they're great. Halo 5, I don't, the, the cutscenes didn't look that good. They were rendered in engine. They didn't just wow me to the extent that Halo, Halo 2 Anniversary or Halo Wars 2 for example, did so. So I, I'd be I'd be cool with Halo Wars 2 or or Halo 2 Anniversary. Just just make it happen, please. Number six, three for three industries it needs to make an effort to make the community whole again. We got burnt with the Master Chief Collection. We got burnt with Halo 5 Guardians and Halo 4 at least had a good campaign. Halo 5's multiplayer they tried. It was fun for a little while. I I'm salty about Halo 5. I'm a Halo elitist from back in the day. Halo 2 was my favorite Halo. But they need to bring the sense of community back that was so strong in Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach. Even ODST, there was people playing it. And I think the way that they can bring the community back is to have events constantly going on that changes up the game and gives people a reason to come back Put some achievements, Vidmaster achievements, bring that back, stop. I mean, I get that they need to do some sort of microtransactions because that's the industry now and games cost more and they make it up by having those microtransactions. Take a note from Rainbow Six though and make it all about cosmetics and make it like not a pay to pay to win halo 5 wasn't too bad on that so i'll give them credit there but but can you like do something with the community a little bit more and and, and i get the extra armor but at least with helmets like back to refining the art style <laughs> don't have these ridiculous looking helmets i'm salty about the helmets luke show show a helmet that just looks bad and that's not what we want we want cool looking helmets in halo but but do something what i mean about like bringing back vidmaster achievements it was was so cool that there were there was armor locked behind achievements that you had to accomplish 
And they did that like with in, in Halo 3, you had to beat like seven Vidmaster achievements and they were hard. But you felt so good when you earned that recon. And even Halo Reach, they had a couple like the CQB helmet, you had to do achievements to earn it. And I love the idea of earning helmets too. You can do your cosmetic helmets that you want to put in boxes, but give us the ability for like some really rare ones and give players a reason to team up and get a co-op achievement together. That would be amazing. And finally, my last point kind of ties up with what I was saying before, but we need more than just multiplayer, forge, and campaign. You know, we had Firefight in Halo 3 ODST, we had Firefight in Reach, and we even had Spartan Ops in Halo 4. They weren't the best, but, but we had something. And I'd love to see them almost step it up in the direction of what they were doing with Spartan Ops, but I think they needs to be its own standalone single player co-op story mode. I'd really like to see a extra story mode, almost like Halo 3 ODST added on for free maybe? You guys burned us with Master Chief Collection, give us some free stuff. <laughs> but give us give us a, a, a Halo 6 ODST. Give us a single player campaign using the engine you used for Halo 6. Give us some more story to dive into or bring back Firefight mode, but make it hard like ODST. Give us achievements for surviving a certain amount of time. Give us something to to grind for and give us like something like an, a feeling of accomplishment. I don't know. Halo was the game, the only game I played in like 2010 and 2011. So I, I want that feeling back. I, I want to be able to feel like there's a community of people playing the game. Bungie favorites was a cool thing where you could you could look at other people's custom games and, and, and screenshots and stuff. That was cool because you always wondered, maybe I'll be on Bungie Favorites one day. I never made it to Bungie Favorites, but in my heart, I thought I had a chance. I didn't, but I thought I did. But that's it for today. Leave a comment down below. What's one thing that you would like to see in Halo 6? Am I too harsh on Halo 5 Guardians? Can we not call Halo 6 Halo 6 Guardians or some subtitle? Can it just be Halo 6? I, I, I hope I'm not being too critical. These are my opinions, obviously. It doesn't apply for everyone, but I think that there's some people out there who agree with me. Let me know what you guys want to see in Halo 6 and maybe subscribe if you're new because we make discussion videos like this every single couple of days. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.